Well, things are moving along. I did a little bit of work um, on the car. We finished sanding up the door, got kind of more of the details of everything, hit the mirror. Uh, we, I'm not sure that these are going to be used in the end, so I didn't spend a huge amount of time on them. Uh, prepared these spots for Bondo. Jonas is much better at mixing and applying that stuff than I am. It's certainly way more efficient at it. Um, I sanded around here. Uh, looks like this is getting pretty close. It's really just super excited about how all these things look. Um, and so I'm cleaning up the details, like getting the shadow looks a little funny. There's actually body behind here, but getting these lines lined up um, and creating a termination for the body line there. We talked a little bit about how we might do that tonight, and I'm pretty happy with the results there. Obviously, it needs to be sanded a little bit more, but just kind of disappears into the flare. I think that's going to look really good. Hey, 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 guys. I spent about a day working on just getting the fenders finished up. Uh, I deleted the antenna uh, because we totally forgot about that. So I tacked a piece of metal under there and then using, there's a fiberglass base Bondo. And so I used that to fill the bigger portion and then a little bit of the your standard red stuff on the top of that. Um, the door is pretty well sanded and everything's marked out that still needs Bondo. Uh, Sam Squamch has done some magic on the work some magic on the roof uh, yeah you should talk about that uh, I you can make fun of it but I use pops dent, um, the slide hammer kind ah, the paint came off I think this is rattle can it's actually great and it's just like the silliest like TV infomercial kind of crap but you know what it just works and um, I've used it like four different times now and it did a great job. This had no crown on it at all. It did smashed. I'm guessing somebody walked on the roof or something. All this is old Bondo that somebody put in. This roof was a disaster. We're going to paint the roof purple like it used to be when more skids first got the car. Um, it's pink. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pink. We're going to paint the roof pink, guys. It's going to be pink. Um, so we're going to take our time with the roof. That's probably not going to get primed today. I know we said it was going to happen in the last video, but I guess we're just a bunch of scumbags. <laughs> so uh, Instead, me and Dad are going to go ahead and we're going to test fit the engine in the bay because I have to do some work on the downpipe before we even start the car. The motor will have to come right back out because there are some oil lines that need to go on the turbo and we don't have, like, one of the fittings won't be here until Friday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this motor is going to come right back out. So don't expect it to start anytime soon. Yep. Shall we? Yeah. So hopefully we're going to see here if the removable core support works as well as we hope it will. Well, I should. Threads are nice and smooth and everything's on the right. Okay, I'm a fan. We thought the starter was on the other side of the tunnel. Yeah, stock 240 starters are on this side, but I'm a dumbass, so. Oops, little adjustment. <laughs> Think that'll do? Looks pretty nice still. No, you can, you're not bashing the front. I'm stoked about that because it looks really clean.
the Jay-Z is sitting in the car. That's exciting, kind of. Not really. It's gonna come right back out, so. I mean, whatever. Fits great. Does fit pretty well, honestly. There you go. Custom dust. Less skids. <laughs> Not our artwork. So, when I made these tubs, on, purp on purpose, I didn't bring the tubs all the way out to the frame rail so that you could get your hand in here to do stuff when you need to work on the huge motor that is now stuck in this car. Look at it. You can get at the stock the oil filter. Isn't that wonderful? It's easy. I'm actually pretty excited about that. That's cool. Bam. It's the removable core support. Looking good. Got plenty of space up in here now. You can put a big old fan in there. Still keep all the, the stocksness out of the shot. Oh. Nope. Uh, nope. There you go. So we got some Bondo laid down on the door, on the rear fender. Woohoo! Motors in. As well as the passenger side door on the bottom and we did another whole layer on the rear quarter uh... like we said at the beginning of this video we want to take our time with these things because we don't want to do it over and over again and a good point my dad made to me is we don't want to be putting bondo over the primer after we do the primer uh... we could do that glazing putty that we use that's fine over the top of primer but bondo wants to stick to bondo Bondo doesn't really want to stick to primer, so uh, we're trying to get all the Bondo done now. Uh, it's pretty late, and it is Thursday, so you guys will be watching this video in like 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so if this thing gets primered tonight, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it'll be it'll be kind of a miracle at this point. So, so let's, let's set our expectations low and just be happy that the motor's in there and that it fits right. Because uh, that's an accomplishment, right? Right? So I think I'm most excited about this, probably the trickiest bit here. Jonas just spread a big, thick coat. I mean, it's not that thick, but it's a big, long coat of Bondo to try to... It's just the thickness of this metal. I mean, it's very tiny, like thin as a dime. And the thickness of this metal has to be smoothed out hopefully so you can't even really see it by the time we're done here and as you can see there's a couple of rough spots right here but it's really looking good and it feels super smooth so I'm gonna throw some guide coat on here because because uh, it'll make me feel better I'm stoked I got a couple of things painted off just to keep them clean while I spray a light guide coat on here and probably gonna have to be done for the night after that this out of it. What's up?